Right, so quick check. This is person on or person for already done. I'll just have to mark it with be able to population. So I'll need to probably get fastest way. And then paths leading to things do. I don't think I remember to record it. All right. And right now it's. As you can see. Yeah. Right. Um, first things first, one of them increase the villager pop. So a hard time. These two are not ready. These two are Harvest wheat. Start to bake some bread. Oh, okay, I can the bread. They ran the master and you, sir. Back, back. Hey, hey. Hey, jerk. There we go. The reason for that is if uh, it's mine, I have to have supports every 10 blocks. Right? Six, six, seven. That's fine. Start up. I put down my furnace here, and one of the rules is that it has to have an open chin.
I need to make myself a better hub. Huh. Go ahead and here. There's that door, as promised. Like, red on... Huh. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That was... I like red on right returning. Huh. So I just put torches on the left, and I'm going in. But they're on the right, as I go back.
Right, uh, so pass to every building. That was actually already done. And I have a campfire marking my fresh water. I guess technically I also sort of have a stone mine. We really just need to work on that farm and that villager population of eight. All right, we're back at it. So I've got my um, water source marked with a campfire. I've got my stone mine started, although it runs into a weird ravine. That's going to be interesting to deal with. Uh, and I've got uh, all my buildings currently connected by paths that are no less than two wide. Uh, so that just leaves uh, that villager population thing and then starting a farm. So I'm going to finish clearing out the space I want for that farm. And then uh, basically hunt for more wool. Oh, what? Ooh. One of my villagers died. One of my villagers died. Why did one of my... Why did one of my villagers die? I'm gonna... Mm. It better not have been this. I'm gonna... I'm raising the campfire. Just like as an in case sort of thing. I don't think it was this, but this is, this is what I'm going to do. So now that that's there, hopefully they won't die from it. And then. So sad. That is so sad. Oh well. So, what is nice though is I do have enough beds to have six villagers. And so, as long as I've got at least two one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I do still have five. That's good. So, as long as I've got at least two, they will eventually be able to build their, their population back up to the number of beds basically so I'm gonna hurry up and clear out the space for the farm which um, remember has to be uh, 20 of a crop and uh, that farm is basically just like not gonna be irrigated for a while because the way that I would want to do that obviously is with a bucket There we go. I'm going to clear out my space. I'm going to build my, my little farm and then I will go on the hunt for more wool. Um, plus I'll also have to build another hut. So that's going to be in here too. There are two of you? Wild. Um, I just got to thinking maybe, maybe, just like maybe, right? Uh, that villager drowned because they're kind of stupid. So the way that I'm gonna deal with that now is I'm, I'm just gonna lock off this pond. So basically, the way that I want to do this is I want to have uh, four rows of fives. Um, <clears throat> let's get started with that. So this is the very edge, um, and that's fine. I'm going to use the very edge and the one, two, three, four, five, plant those. And then I'm going to leave myself a little space here. That's going to be for water eventually. Then I'll have a row here, and then I'm going to skip this one, a row, for water. There we go. So that's, those are both done. I'm going to need, uh, as you can see, 
Yeah, just that one more seed that'll fill it in. I'd like to have more than that though. We'll try to get one more. Oh, a cat. Nice. I'm gonna expand the village over this way eventually too. Um, clearly, otherwise I wouldn't have put my, uh, myself next to this little arbor. I don't know how to put that in quotes actually. That, that is literally what it is. It's just a, a natural harbor instead of one that I dug. Happy that cat's here. Cats scare creepers, in case you didn't know. Okay, well, I've got more than enough to fill in here, so that's good enough. Let's just finish that up. And then I'm, I'm going to put a little edge around it with cobblestone. The reason that I built my farm this way is that the last time I knew um, putting crops in a line like this makes them grow faster, but then there's a penalty for having them on diagonal blocks that is makes it essentially worse to just make a big field as compared to um, smaller lines like this. It's going to be night soon, so in the morning I will begin my search for more wool. I don't even have to kick anybody out of bed this time. Okay, so if I'm going to have a villager population of eight, then I need to have eight beds. That's how it works. So I'm going to put some stuff away. I'm going to hang on to this apple. Actually, I'm going to dig a path over to the field. First, of course, um, we'll put that there, and eventually I'll put in a, a fence and a gate. Um, not yet, though. I'm gonna put some stuff back in my box, and then get started with the hunt for more wool. Jeez, do you think I have enough saplings? I'm gonna start using them as fuel at this rate. Actually, I am. I am going to start using them as fuel. Because uh, I want more charcoal. Because um, I haven't found any coal yet. So, why are you in my house? Huh? Get out of my house. This sword is terrible. I'm going to make myself a slightly better one. And then... I really am on the way out to go find more wool. Wow, that was actually terrible. Um, let's see, I looked all that way already, so I'm just gonna go off towards this jungle. I'm not going to go into the jungle because I don't think there are any sheep in there. But I'm just going to start this way and sort of like skirt the edge. There's a wolf.
Ha! <laughs> Bear in mind. Chickens, some pumpkins. I'm gonna take one or two of these as well. Maybe like quite a few. Wow. This is a huge natural pumpkin patch. Hmm. Okay, so here's the water. I'm just gonna keep the water to my right instead of the uh, jungle. Burning trees, and it's not my fault. I didn't do that. Sheep, 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 sheep. Yes, excellent. That's four. I have two back at home, which is enough for two extra beds for villagers. I'm gonna kill this one anyway. Because I'm also trying to make myself a bed, you know? There's a gray one. Where'd that squid go? There it is. I'm gonna kill the gray one here first. And then I'm gonna kill the squid. And then I should be able to. Um... <laughs> I should be able to make some dye dye that extra white wool, and I should also be able to make myself a bed. Okay, if I actually follow this beach, I should be able to find my way back to my village pretty easily. So that's what I'm going to do. It is, however, nighttime, so it's time to get the sword out. Oh, don't bother looking. Doesn't matter what it was. I'm not going into the jungle either. Like, I could I probably, it's a straight shot through the jungle to get back to my little village, but uh, I'm terrible at navigating through jungles. I'm just gonna skirt the water here. It might take longer, but it will get me back home. Oh shoot, oh shoot, um, zigzag, ah, oh shit, oh god, oh shit, that's familiar, I, I've seen that before, definitely. That should be the mangrove swamp, which means that I'm actually almost home.
There it is. There's home. Off that way. All the villagers should be nice things around. There also shouldn't be any monsters around. So, as soon as I get there, I should be able to just hop in the spare bed and um, sleep. It's kind of nice to know that I actually wasn't too far from home getting the wool that I got here. There's a skeleton. I don't love that. Why are you guys over there? Terrible. Um, this is my bed for the night. Huh. Huh. Now that it's daylight, I feel confident that I can defeat this skeleton in single combat. Maybe I shouldn't have felt confident. Never mind. I'm all good. I got it. Don't belong there. These can go in here. Pumpkins can go in here. I should really plant a couple of these. Uh, that can go in there for now. Uh, plant the melon seeds. I have the ink sack. I'm going to turn that into dye. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, that's that's Oh well. Oh, I think the villagers took my mutton. Unbelievable. Okay, so the reason I keep making this bread, um, for anyone who's not in the know on that, is because for the villagers to make more villagers, uh, they have their, 
huh. a couple of conditions have to be met. Huh. There has to be a bed for the new villager, and the current villagers have to have what is considered huh. enough food. I don't know how much that is, so I'm just kind of making bread as often as I can and chucking it at whatever villager I see first. Uh, eventually, I won't have to do that, because eventually I can um, give one of them the profession of farmer, and then, I'm excited about this, then they will tend the crops themselves. It'll be good. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not having to micromanage them so much. Lazy punks. Huh. Possibly cooked mutton also counts. Let me check. Huh. Here. Hey. Tell me. Can you pick that up? Did I throw huh. it too far? I threw it too far. Hey. Huh. Apparently not. Sleep in one of these beds for the night. Now, you know and I know that I can break apart these bones to make bone meal. I'm going to tell the villagers that it was revealed to me in a dream. Three loaves of bread, not bad. I think I'm gonna toss them all at one one villager. Um, and then that villager should have what is considered enough food. You, talk to me. Now, he should go find someone to share it with. Oh, sorry, do you know, like me watching? I came to, to chop this tree. Ah. Ah. 
Alright, well, I'm going to um, basically now just cut to once I have enough villagers. Three days later. I think... I think I just heard a small villager. Let me. Yep. Very good, baby villager. All right. Three days later. Did you see that? There's a second child right there. I'm going to do a head count uh, once they've all gone to bed, just to make sure. Make sure I've got eight, right? But uh, I believe that's eight. Uh, that's nine. Let's just take a quick look. Okay. One, two, three. There's the door for No one's in my house because I'm not a bed in there. There's that child. One, two, three here. Child. And that makes eight. Fantastic. <clears throat> the farm is finished. And we've got eight villagers.